Good Saturday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. This is your outlook for the weekend, October, or excuse me, November 2nd and November 3rd, 2013. Still stuck in October here after it felt like it uh, yesterday with uh, temperatures uh, that were getting uh, up above the 70 degree mark in many locations, but uh, not expecting that anytime soon. Uh, we did launch the My Pocket Meteorologist program yesterday. And a very successful first day, concerning it was 70 degrees, and this is a winter text alert program. You wouldn't have thought it, but uh, we got uh, over 100 uh, registers of, of the uh, program on the website. If you are going to uh, check this out, uh, you can go on our, uh, to the right of the video here on the uh, right, right of the uh, tab to the right of the video here, and it'll, it will take you to this page here. We'll explain the program, and down at the bottom of the page. Uh, there's a, an option for a, uh, it talks about the premium package, which is a separate program. And then uh, there's an option here at the bottom here where you can click right here and it'll take you to the next page, which will be to the sign up uh, portion of it. Uh, if you do go through the sign up portion of it, the only thing I ask is please make sure you register for the website and go through the whole process because we're having a, a handful of people here that uh, didn't go through the registration process and we're now, we're now having to go back to them and, and get, get information. So make sure you're going through the whole process. Uh, this is not uh, you know a dollar ninety nine type thing here, so you you definitely want to go through that and make sure you're set up correctly because uh, this is not uh, something that's a just a cheap thing here. So I want to make sure you're getting your money's worth here. But uh, do check that out on the website. It is our it is a uh, customizable text alert service or email with whichever one you choose for up to two counties. Uh, for it'll come directly to your cell phone or email in the winter time for uh, in, the, in advance of any upcoming snow and ice storm. So uh, there's enough time spent on that. If you can check that out, uh, that'd be great. Take a look at the uh, the upper air anomalies here. Now this is uh, uh, showing what what our departures for normal are up at about 5,000 feet above the surface here. Now this is anything here in, in these uh, oranges and yellows this is above normal temperatures. Anything that's in the blue is below normal temperatures. Uh, now this is uh, currently here what we're looking at. And of course we have the, the uh, cold front that's pushing off the east coast here. If it's just white here that means it's near normal. Uh, so since, since we we're ahead of this cold front here on this side of the cold front before it moved through we we're in above normal temperatures and that was sitting over top of us on Friday. And now uh, this on Saturday is going to be uh, near normal and we're getting poised to have this uh, cold air move in behind it with the secondary cold front move through. And you'll see the next couple of frames here of the GFS here. I just want to show you what this looks like here. And our departure from normal on uh, su both Sunday and Monday are going to be well below normal uh, temperature for this time of year. But we don't think it's lasting very long as you get into uh, next week it starts pushing up the coast. And we have another cold front that's going to push through towards the end of the week. And out ahead of it, again, you're going to have temperatures rise. And you see that here, uh, here in the uh, uh, departure from normal anomaly here. And then be behind it, you have uh, the colder air coming in behind it again. So it's kind of like an up and down pattern all week long here that we're going to be dealing with. Uh, you know, cold front approaches, it gets warm on the uh, uh, in advance of it. And then as it moves through, uh, wind shift to the northwest and it gets colder again. So it's a pretty simple concept, but it's... Uh, basically wash, rinse, repeat for a while. Uh, here's the GFS here for Saturday. It does have an isolated shower possibility here. Uh, we're not really too crazy about this idea of a shower here, but uh, we, you know, I did mention it in my forecast discussion. I'm sure the other forecaster did as well. There's a very isolated chance of a, of a shower. Not a big deal if it does happen. Now we have that, that secondary cold front coming through on Saturday, and uh, it'll probably be Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening, but it'll knock temperatures down uh, considerably from what it will be on Saturday to what it will be on Sunday and Monday. It'll be big, big difference in temperatures where it's going to struggle to get out of the 40s in many of these areas here. Probably this entire area right here will, be, will not see 50 degrees. Uh, and, and this is part of our coverage here, but uh, the this entire area will not see 50 degrees most likely uh, until you get down to maybe Philadelphia and South Jersey, but that's uh, that'll be pushing it too. But it's going to be very cold uh, for this time of year. It's going to feel very cold anyway. Here's the uh, future simulator radar off the high-res NAM. And you see what I'm talking about. Here's here's some showers that are popping up here uh, Saturday evening, but uh, nothing really to write home about here. There's nothing that you see it just falls apart. Maybe across northeastern PA, you get an isolated shower. Maybe even get it down to uh, east central PA. The very uh, you know very furthest of the stuff makes it down here, but we're really not expecting anything in the way of shower activity on a grand scale on Saturday. So that moves away. Here's the temperatures we're looking at on on uh, Saturday here. Still getting up here in the 60s here. 
Uh, you can see 6 degree temperatures on the, this is of course on the leeward side of the front. Once the front moves through uh, the secondary front on uh, Saturday evening, uh, this will uh, not be the case on Sunday here. And I want to show you this real quick here. Is, uh, here's the overnight period, uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then we get into, here's, here's Sunday afternoon. And this is the highest the temperatures get the entire day. Look at this, mid-40s right here. This is going to be a, a shock. These are all mid-40 degree readings here uh, on Saturday, on Sunday. So uh, expecting the same thing on Monday as well. But as far as precipitation is concerned, the next grand scale organized system is that cold front we showed on the anomalies uh, departure from normal that we were talking about towards the end of the next week. This is actually Wednesday evening here. Uh, you can see the cold front approaching here from the west, and it's going to warm up ahead of it. And the warm front is going to move through here on Thursday. And once it presses through, high pressure moves in behind it again. You get chillier air move behind the front. So. Kind of, uh, you know, wash, rinse, repeat next week, but I don't think we get quite as warm ahead of the front as we did this week. So uh, we'll narrow it down a little bit as we get closer, and that is your weekend outlook for October. I did it again. November 2nd and November 3rd, 2013. Have a great weekend.